Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or for those who haven't been here yet, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya and um, I'm going to do a lip product video for you today. Um, for those who have been on my channel for a little while, I apologise, it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. Christmas was... Whew, I'm not even going to tell you, it was just, it was nuts and um, so much has been happening in between, but you don't want to know all about that. Um, anyway, if you're new to my channel and you're interested in hearing about um, makeup or beauty products, skincare, all that sort of stuff, um, I am a fair, sensitive, cool toned skin girl. And um, if that suits you and you want to see what I uh, what works for me, great. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and all of those fun things. Um, don't forget to check the bell um, so you get notified every time that I do a video. I'm not annoying. I don't do 50 videos a day. I don't even do 50 videos a week. Um, I will probably knock out one or two videos a fortnight if I'm lucky. Maybe one every three weeks. I want to do more. I really do. Time is killing me. So anyway, the lip products that I want to talk to you today are about uh, Maybelline Superstate Matte Ink. I do have five of them. Um, they're all kind of nude, with the exception of one of them that's uh, purple. <laughs> so um, I want to talk about, um, I have number 15, Lover, which is my favourite. Um, I have number 65, Seductress. I'll do an arm swatch on all of these and I'll even try them on. I also have number 5, Loyalist. Now not all of these look good on me by the way. Well, not too many at all actually. Number 8, Ruler. Beautiful, beautiful shade. And this is the first one that I brought and I brought it because I love the colour but it just does not suit me and I'm... Oh, why is it that everything that I like just doesn't look good on me? Or I feel they don't look good on me. I've got these thin, cruddy lips, you know? <laughs> anyway, this is 40 Believer and it's that purple and it's... Mm, I want to wear it more. Anyway, if you want to see swatches of those arm swatches, lip swatches, um, stay tuned. Welcome back. Now as I said, I'm going to do some arm swatches on these colours and I am going to do some lip um, swatches obviously. But I'm going to start from the lightest and go upwards because these are, um, they dry down and you'll be wearing it all day. So if you want a lipstick that, if done right, um, and I'll explain that in a minute, that will literally stay on from the moment that you put it on in the morning until the, you get you, you get into bed and you've forgotten that you still got the lipstick on if lipstick is all you wear trust me <laughs> I've, I've jumped into bed a few times and i'm like <sighs> it's good so if you know how to put these on if you know how to use these correctly they're the bomb so anyway oh well i'll explain to you when i first brought these obviously i told you that my first one that i brought was this purple one and um uh, believer and it's a gorgeous color it really is but I, I've, I've never used um, uh, liquid lips before and I, I pulled it out and I'm like, oh yeah, lip colour products, slather, slather. Mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. Number one, I didn't realise that once I put this on my lips, it was not coming off unless I, I uh, got some oil and mm, I had to double cleanse to get it off and um, it, it was funny. So... Be very careful when you put these on, and the way that I found, I, I tried multiple times to put this on with what I would class as a normal amount of product on the lips. And every single time that I did it, I found that uh, my lips, although it wouldn't transfer after a, a small amount of time, if you can hear some noise, I'm sorry, it's my, my air conditioner and it's hot. <laughs> um, so anyway, it wouldn't transfer on anything, but every time I opened up my lips, they they, they stuck together. It was annoying. I hated it. And I'm like, why is this happening? Why is everybody else, you know, loving this and me not? So, um, you know, I, I did some research and I found that if you scrape off, so you get the product out and you scrape off both sides and then start from the middle and work your way out and then go to the top. Like, you don't even need to re-dip. You shouldn't need to re-dip. Um, just use the amount that's on the wiped off stick for the entire thing. You'll not only get strong colour in the entire thing, you may want to, if you've got bigger lips than me, put
put a little bit more on, but I would just grab that little bit of excess that you left on the side there instead of dipping it way back in, because less is more with this. Once you do have that perfect shape, then, and, and it dries, and it will feel tacky, like it'll dry down, but it will feel tacky for a little while until you sort of like eat and drink or, you know, a little bit and then then it's on, then it's perfect, there's no um, discomfort or anything like that. It is absolutely fantastic. So I think it's a small price of uncomfort to pay for maximum amount of wear. If you're going to be wanting to wear something, if you're going to want to wear something all day, I think an hour of tackiness, and it doesn't mess up your lips or anything or get crunchy or crusty if you do it right, is a small price to pay than having to, I don't know, say an hour later you've eaten or you've drunk something and then have to reapply it and have to deal with the fact that a liquid lipstick doesn't like reapplying in most cases. You don't have to. I will have breakfast, I will have coffee, I will kiss my partner, I will kiss my children, I will I will rub, I'm, I'm a toucher, I will hands everywhere, knock everything, hair everywhere. I'm a mess, I really am most of the time. This is fantastic. So once you use it right, once you know how to use it right, great. I'm just waiting for them to bring out even more shades that work for me because I do have five and I do want more, but I'm really fussy on the colors that I have on my lips. And I, I brought what I thought was my perfect um, lip and maybe it is, but it, in my eyes, yeah, no. <laughs> so anyway, enough chit chat. I told you how to use it the way that I think that works the best, give it a go, see how you go. We're going to get to the swatches, but like I said, we're going to go from lightest to darkest. Um, I will swatch them all on my arm first for you to see though, and then we'll go in from lightest to darkest on the lips, because that's going to take me a little bit of a minute to wipe it all off. You get my gist. So anyway, let's start. So the first one I'm going to put on my arm, and I hope you can see really well, my lighting is atrocious. I have some softbox lights, they're not on at the moment, but... I'll show you what it all looks like without the light on, then with the light, I do need to get a ring light. Hasn't happened yet. No money. What do you do? So, number five, Loyalist. Alright, I'm not good at doing this blind, so... Try and do big swatches. Well, that's not really big, is it? Alright. Hmm. Looks not bad there, right? Like I said, I am going to turn the light on um, once I've got them all down. So that's that's Loyalist, and that's what the swatch looked like when I looked at it in the store. And I'm like, yeah, that looks that looks a lot like my lips. I think, I think, I feel. But anyway, when it goes on my lips, I don't know, I don't know. It just doesn't, I'm not feeling it. So anyway, this is number sixty-five, Seductress. So I like this too. What can I say? Um, I can't explain to you what. I don't even know what to call this. Like a. Um, like a uh, cross between a brick and a beige. So like a beige and a brick had a baby, I don't know. <laughs> a beige brick. So it's, yeah, it's more of a brownie. Hang on, let's just have a look, right? So we'll stick that, where are we gonna stick that? We're gonna stick it on top, so I can Use the camera. All right. Oops. So that one there, once again, is Seductress, and I, I really, Seductress, I really like that colour. So that's Loyalist and Seductress. They look, it's hard to tell what you're going to see because in my viewfinder, they look the same. Alright, next. This is number 15, Lover. This is my favourite. I have worn this a few times. I'm going to wear it a few more, actually. I love this one, so for me. Um, no. They smell good too, like, I can't tell you what they smell like, but, I don't know, cupcakes, icing, something like that? Anyway, moving on. Let's swatch them. I love this colour. Oh yes, hello. You see that? How beautiful is that? It's like, um... You know, I'm never a good judge of these colours. How do I explain that? It's, it, is a, it is a pink, but it's like a, a mauvey pink sort of thing. I don't know. Pretty, anyway. Love it. So once again, that was 15 Lover. My favourite. This one I also really like, but 
I have to be really minimal with this because I'm, I'm not sure whether it really suits me, but I like it. This is number eight, Ruler. So this is more of a brick, but sort of like a brick red. Um, yeah, it's the closest thing that I have to any red. I don't wear red, so um, let's go. Oh, yeah, you're pretty. Oh, it's very pretty, yeah. It's almost like a, a red berry, you know? You see it? I don't know. Gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I'm going to have stained arms for the rest of the night, but I don't care. And the smell. Yeah. I don't get sick of the smell, which you might. And I am sensitive to smell as well, so I don't know if that's going to count with you guys, but I'll get headaches. If I walk past anyone, just, just walking past someone who's got like um, a proper perfume, not like the Ed A Toilet or whatever you want to call it, like a real strong in your face $300 bloody perfume, or even those cheap and nasty um, chemist warehouse like celebrity perfumes, I'm like woof, that's it. I'm done. Anyway, ha, moving on. Number 40, Believer. This is the first one I got. This is the purple. This one I want to wear, but I just, I can't pull it off. And you'll see when I try it on. So here we go. Oh, hello, baby. I love this color, but it's too dark. I wish it was muted. I can't actually mute it on my lips. There we go. You see that? That doesn't do it justice at all. All right, like I said, I was gonna show you with the soft box lights on. I'm gonna get washed out, all right? You're gonna see that, I'm gonna look blue, but there's nothing you can do about it. I want you to be able to see these colors that I see it. You probably can in this natural light, but I, I wanna do it just in case, so give me a second. That's one light, woo, bright. Different already. Another one, oh. all right. Let's see if that makes a difference. So we have, oh, I'm gonna have to remember these. <laughs> All right, let me see. All right, loyalist, seductress, lover, ruler, and believer. Do you know on any other day, there's no way, no way in hell that I would remember that. I don't know, anyway. <laughs> Let's get to trying these on because I don't know how long the video's gone for already but I don't want to make this a 20 minute video and it probably is going to be so eh. Alright, so here we are. Now, I might bring you in a little bit. Hopefully not too crazy scary. That's closer than I like. But okay, alright. We'll do that, alright? So we are going to go in with number 5, Loyalist. And um, so that's this one right here. And I really, really wanted to like this. But I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sold on it yet. So here we go. We'll do the. Now I'm not a professional lip product putter on her, but here we go. Um, I I really need. I really need a mirror. I can't. Um, I can't use a viewfinder. So bear with me. See, I think it kind of washes me out. I think it might actually be, yeah, I think it's lighter than my actual lip colour. And I don't hate it. I just don't know how I really feel about it yet, you know. Mm. Um, give it 10, 15 minutes, it will dry down completely. Um, yeah, like I said, less is more. This is what this looks like on me. It could look different on you. Like, it looks different on... So many people that I've seen, that was the reason why I brought it because I was watching a lot of reviews of people who had similar skin tone as me, but I didn't take into account that they had different lip colours, so, hmm, whoops. Anyway, um, I, I did swatch this before I brought it, um, well, <laughs> you know, look, look it looks there. To me, that looks darker, the swatch looks darker, a little bit, a, just a little bit, than my actual lips. So anyway. I don't hate it, like I look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, I could do this if I was wearing like a really bold eye, I might wear this one. 
but it's not the one that I reach for all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and um, take this off and then we're going to go in with Seductress, which is the next shade. Seductress is the next one that we're going into. Before I do that, um, like I said before, the only way that I can actually get this off, like I just tried to get that off with a wet wipe and it wasn't going anywhere, so um, if you are going to buy one of these, nick down to a drugstore, chemist, whatever you want to call it, pick yourself up some cheap, like just cheap, um, cleansing oil because you're going to want a cleansing oil of something that's really good at breaking down that lip product and with a lot of um, liquid lips so I've been told you can usually get liquid lip off by applying more liquid lip but not so with the case with this one <laughs> yeah. so I think this only cost me a few dollars and I love this I use this to clean my face to, to, to get the lipstick off I actually clean my um, not my beauty blender but my other non-named my my makeup sponges god i'm tongue-tied today anyway want a beauty blender not gonna pay the price cleans them really good so anyway moving on we're going to well that was a bit loud wasn't it we're going on to 65 seductress so once again i really should have got my mirror my other mirror and uh, pull you in just a little bit really shouldn't pull you in until it's like really done because it's whatever all right so once again pull it out Wipe off excess, get your big ass mirror. <laughs> oh, I'm blurred. Hi. Already, I like this one better. I mean, they're not going to be perfect applications, so because I'm never really good under pressure, any kind of pressure. So, like, you can see that this one is already a little bit darker than the one that I just put on. And in person, I don't mind it. It's kind of, how do I explain this? On my lips, it's kind of, it's also a beige, but it's, mmm... It's a, a little bit more apricot-y beige, uh, if that's a thing. Um, I do like this one a little bit better, and that one here is this one here. So you can tell between the two that there's not a whole lot of difference. But I, I don't feel as washed out with this one as I did with Loyalist. So for me, I'd be more likely to wear the Seductress over the Loyalist. Even when I'm looking, I've got a mirror in front of me. Even in the mirror in front of me, I feel more comfortable wearing this one. Once again, not my favourite, but as a nude sort of thing, I would go for Seductress over Loyalist. Loyalist to me is a little bit too, I guess, um, white. I guess is what I'm trying to say for my skin tone. If you're, if you're fairer than me, and I don't know how the camera really shows. I am quite fair, but I'm a little bit pink as well. So um, may, maybe pick the Loyalist. But um, I personally feel that the Seductress is a lot nicer, at least for me anyway. So... Let's move on to my favourite, which is Lover. Alright, so Lover. Lover, Lover. Alright, so that is number 15, Lover. And like I said, this is my favourite. You might not like it on me, but I like it on me. So let's get into it. I mean, obviously it looks a lot better when you got makeup on as well. I've got no makeup on, except for what I'm putting on here. So, um, and there's another thing too, like lining your lips really goes a long way with this. Um, I don't know, like it doesn't bleed, but are you, if you don't sort of like really mm, line the lips properly with this without putting too much on there, it can be annoying. So um, it can just sort of look a little bit uneven. But once you get to, like, use it a few times, once you get used to it, you don't really need the liner, but it is nice. It's a nice addition. So, anyway, like I said, once again, pull it up, wipe off the excess. You really don't need it. You want to do it, trust me. Anyway, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I think I did one lip, uh, one peak too high, but whatever. You just need to see. <laughs> anyway, I love this colour. I absolutely love this colour. I love this colour more when obviously I'm wearing more makeup and, you know, whatever. So this is um, this one right here, which is Lover, my personal favourite. They did a great job on this, I think. Like, this is, it's pink, but it's not like Barbie pink. It's, um... I just think it's like a mauvey pink and that's what I love about it. Um, I would love it to be a little bit more mauvey. In fact, I would love a shade bet somewhere between the lover and the ruler. Um, somewhere somewhere a little bit mauvey but still pinky, whereas this one is red sort of brick and this one's pink mauve. I don't know. I don't know. I want more colours in between these shades. That'd be great. Like I can... I love purple, but I can do without the purples since they don't look, you know, that great on me anyway. And they're not, they're not what I would call wearable all the time. Like, this is something that I could wear all the time, but I want more. Uh, I like variety. So, anyway, there is a lot of variety. Like I said, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of colours. There's a lot of colours. But it's, the formula is so good. They need more. Like, they can't just stop. We need more. Anyway, I love this colour. I love the smell. Application is easy once you get used to it. A few goes, you'll be good. Like I said, just get yourself some oil. Alright, next one we're going to be doing is the ruler. Alright, once again, pull it out. Wipe it off. You'll be tempted to leave it on, because I always am, even though I know better. Give it a good old smell. Alright, bear with me. This is going to look crap, because it's a darker colour. I'm not confident, but I'm just showing you the colour, so here we go. Oh yeah, I like it. Slow down. Alright, I've gone out of the lines already. <laughs> if I was going to use this, I definitely would line it. Right, when I say if, I mean, I definitely will use it, but now I look like freaking Bobo the Clown. <laughs> anyway, you're going to have to excuse the hot mess that I made there. This is what I'm saying. If you fuck up, <sighs> you could almost get away with doing your lips first and then... Mm, I don't know, I don't know, but you got you need to be really, really careful, okay? I love this colour, I really do, and I would definitely 100%, 110% line my lips with a pencil first, because if you screw up, even if it was just one of those invisible liners. Anyway, I've made a mess. The application looks horrible. I love the colour. I'm not sure if I love it on me. Mm. I do want to try and be more brazen. Brazen? Bold? I don't know. I do want to try and put myself out of my own comfort zone and wear it a little bit more. And as you can see, like I said, I did go out of the lines, but I also think that I still had too much on my wand. Um, anyway, look, once again, uh, that one was there. Beautiful colour. Brick reddish. Not quite red red, but you know, in between a red and a brown brick, basically. <laughs> Duh. Anyway. Moving on to the last one that will also look crappy on me and I'll probably look like a hot mess. This is a beautiful colour though, so don't rule it out just because I've killed it. Uh, anyway, it's good. I like it. So, moving on. You know, if I really think about it, that, um, that ruler one, like if I learn how to use it properly, would look gorgeous on like a... Um, an evening out, you know, this kind of smoky eye. Not, not a lot of colour up here, just a, a smoky kind of look, you know. Um, yeah, like black ties, I reckon. I don't know how often I'm going to use that, but I drew, I do like it. I drew, I do like it. So anyway, moving on to 40 Believer, the first one that I ever brought. I almost didn't try the rest of these because I was so disappointed. Like, I didn't, I didn't apply it properly. The colour was wrong. The mwah, was just, it was just, ugh. So anyway, I, um, Priceline had a 50% off sale and I'm like, you know what? 
mm. and that's when I picked up Lover and Lover inspired me to buy those other three and it's going to continue to inspire me to buy more when they bring more out please work for me like <laughs> bring me out some colors that I can wear you know anyway so whoops like I said we're gonna move on and we're gonna go on to number 40 believer this is the last one once again hold out Oh god, this is another one that I would definitely, definitely line the lips with. So here we go. Time to make a hot mess. Mm -mm. Oh crap. Once again, not a great application, but um, hmm, I love it what it looks like on the bottle, I love it what it looks like on some other people, I love it what it looks like on my arm, but for me, I guess if I was still going through my like witchcraft, I hate everybody, you know, kind of phase which didn't last that long anyway but I guess if I was going through that stage um yeah I, I would have wore this all the time you know 15 years ago oh jeez I'm saying 15 years ago anyway so yep that's that color there that's a uh, believer like I said I love all these colors they don't transfer I should get yeah they're all they're not going anywhere okay they're definitely not going anywhere um I'll even actually show you, like, I, I'll get a, I'll get a wipe, so, oh yeah, just a regular old makeup wipe, baby wipe, whatever you want to call it, I've ripped it, alright, so it will probably get some off, maybe, you'll see, a mm, little bit, now I'm vigorously, vigorously rubbing, like, I'm, I'm leaving my fingerprint marks in that, I'm rubbing that hard. So anyway, you can see, okay, it's starting to lift, but you won't get all of that off on your lips, and really you don't want to scrub that hard. I mean, you could put an exfoliant on, I guess, but if you just want to get it off quite simply, get yourself some of this oil. This is going to make a mess. Just a little bit. Slather that on there, move it around. Obviously, do this better, better off to do this in the um, bathroom. I didn't put enough oil on. Um, and with these oils, this one, this works a lot better once you put the oil on and then um, rub it all in and then put a little bit of water on. And um, this is probably not going to do it justice. Put a little bit of water on and it emulsifies and it works even better. Let's just get that wipe and see how much of that removes. See how it hasn't removed all of it. Now, had I put water on straight after that, that would have got the rest of that off. But that's a really particularly hard colour, I guess. I might try and show you on my actual lips, but it will come off with the oil and the water if you do the oil properly. So let's get let's get a bit aggressive. Let's see if I can make myself a hot mess for you, right? And there you go. It's gone. I mean, there might be some traces on the inside where I haven't wiped, but you won't need to use a wipe if you use the water. Because like I said, you lather your face up with this, your lips, whatever, and then you put a little bit of water on your hand and you emulsify it, it turns it into a milk, then you rinse it off. You don't need these wipes, but I, I, I'm not going to the bathroom. I don't want this video to be any longer than it already is. So anyway, that's that. That is those five colours right there. I love them. I love some more than others. I want more. Um, it is the best uh, 
long wear um, lip. Oh my god! Lip, liquid lip that I've ever used. Um, I do want to try some other brands. Um, this was recommended actually by, um, I can't remember if it was Haley or Kat um, through the beauty news. I think it might have been Kat. But anyway, if you haven't seen those girls, go over and check them out at Beauty News or go check out their regular videos. Um, Haley is just by the makeup and Kat is, I can't, name, I can't even pronounce hers, but it's Kit Snitch or something. You'll see. Just go to um, Beauty News and then have a look in the description if you want to find their individual channels. They'll be there. They are a hoot, these two. And um, anyway, they, they do a lot of videos as well. Um, and all of their advice that they've given, all of their um, recommendations that they've given have been nail on the head. Like, whatever. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe I've just fallen in love with these two. I don't know. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. Um, if you like my video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. I don't get many of them, so anything I would appreciate. Um, if you want to see more videos, I want to get more posted up. I, I do empties, I do um, mini reviews, I, I do masks, I do all that sort of crap. And, um, but I just don't do it as often as everybody else, so you're not going to be getting ding ding ding. Like I said, if you want, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead subscribe, don't forget to check the bell or go ding. You'll get all of my um, notifications, not that there'll be that many. So anyway, thank you so much for saying, if you did stick around for the whole lot, enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks guys. Bye.